Hi, I'm David Ireland, the Wildlife Man. Welcome to episode number eight of the Wildlife Man podcast. Now, today's story is sponsored by Kess Gallery. They have the most amazing aerial photography of the Sydney region. Now today's story is titled Savage Monster and it's a story about the African hippo. Why these incredibly huge animals are responsible for killing so many people in Africa. In fact, they take more human lives than any other animal on the planet. I'll also cover some of the strange characteristics of these incredible animals and why I believe they're one of the strangest animals to actually exist on the planet. And I'll also tell you about my encounter, my personal encounter with a bull hippo and how we achieved video footage of hippo behavior that probably has never been filmed before. It can only be described as breathtaking. Now let's look at the hippo and why I believe they're such a strange creature. First up, they're semi-aquatic, an animal that spends most of its time in the water. And yet, these huge animals have hooves. That is so strange, to have hooves like a horse and yet spend most of your time in the water. That is so weird. And these huge animals have the ability to ambush, like a crocodile. Why? Because they can have most of their body submerged underwater, and yet their eyes and their ears and their nostrils are above water. That's all that can be seen. That's similar to a crocodile. It allows them to either fully submerge or partially submerge and approach. Now that's really strange. Why would an animal that's herbivorous need the ability to ambush? And let's look more at this wonderful beast. They sweat like we do, but they sweat a pink fluid. Sure, it helps keep them cool in that African hot sun, especially if the water levels are low in a drought and their skin is exposed to the heat. But that fluid that they excrete is also a sunscreen. That's unusual. And these huge animals actually are nocturnal. They come out of the water at night and go on land and they can venture kilometres from their water source and they feed on grass. They're a herbivorous animal and they consume up to 30, 40 kilograms of grass in a single night. And what I found most strange about the hippo, why would a herbivorous animal have canine teeth that are up to 20 inches long that rival a saber-toothed tiger? What a strange animal. Now why... And these amazing, wonderful beasts responsible for killing more people than any other animal on the planet? And the answer is territorialism. It works for them. It allows them to survive. It allows them to breed. Territorialism. A big bull will claim the territory of maybe a billabong or a large section of a river. And when he does that, he will fight other males almost to the death to maintain that territory. He'll also protect it from other animals and especially humans. If we venture into a billabong where there's hippo, a big bull that's so territorial, or even a female with a calf, 
then we are exposed to incredible danger. An animal that size has no problem capsizing a canoe or a small vessel. And then, with those massive jaws, those huge canine teeth, they can take the life of humans in seconds. Recently, 13 people lost their lives in Niger in Africa. Their vessel was capsized. 12 of those people were kids. It's tragic, but it's not the hippo's fault. We should not be canoeing in a river system or a lake or billabong where there are hippos. We need to understand they're territorial and they will take a life if we get too close. They're also dangerous on land because when they venture on land at night to feed, if we come onto one and we're on foot, they can outrun you. They can do 30 k's an hour and sometimes they venture into and raid crops. So that's another big problem. Now sadly with hippo, their numbers are declining so badly. In the Congo years ago, there was up to 100,000 hippo. Now they say there might only be 800 left. They fall victim to poachers. The meat trade is a big problem for the African hippo. These animals need our protection. Now I had an amazing encounter with a bull hippo years ago in South Africa. We were cruising around in a jeep following lions and I went up to the edge of a billabong because I wanted to see if there were any crocs there. And there was just one huge bull. One huge bull, hippo. Now he'd probably been kicked out of the river, a big old fella. He wanted to maintain the territory of that billabong and he was very unhappy when we came up with a Jeep. I sat on the bull bar of the Jeep with my camera, spotlights. I was hoping to get footage of territorial behavior of this big fella. And boy, did we get it. At first he did these short charges, backwards and forwards, just rushing, just demonstrating the power of this animal. He also opened those massive jaws, showing the, the canines and grunting. And the grunts just echoed all around that little valley where we were. Deep, loud grunts, quite frightening sounds. But then he did something that I've never seen before. The hippo breached right out of the water, shaking its head side to side showing its enormous strength and its power and size. It was insane to film. And then he backed up, not far from our Jeep, maybe only 15 feet. I had to be careful he didn't just charge and rip me off the bull bar of that truck. But he backed up and he defecated, and he flicked the poo everywhere. Now I've read that scientists believe that behavior is, uh, bulls will do it to try and attract females. I'm not so sure about that. I believe it's more marking a territory. Lions, tigers, they'll urinate and mark a territory. Dogs do it to a tree, they mark a territory. I believe that whole system of flicking blue everywhere is a territorial marking. I own this place, keep away. Now these are an incredible animal to see and to film them in the wild is an amazing experience. One of the best things I've ever done is being on the banks of a river filming hippos. They are just insane to watch and so exciting. But they seriously need our protection. The poaching 
The meat trade in Africa is horrific for African animals. And always remember, it's not the hippo's fault that people are dying, that they're killing people. It's because people just don't get it. These are a very big, huge animal, powerful and incredibly dangerous. And they have the weapons, those big canines and those massive jaws. They can kill people in seconds and turn over canoes and small boats so easily. And they're dangerous on land as well. We have to do all we can to keep away and keep out of their territory. If we do that, then we're safe. It's not the hippo's fault that people are dying. It's because people just don't get it. We must protect these amazing animals, the African hippo. We have found a lone hippo that has taken up residence in a shallow pool. He is trying to hide behind a leadwood tree. You can hardly see him. Massive big animal. As it gets darker, he seems to get more and more angry. And then he displays more and more. The big danger with these creatures is if you meet up with them on land, if you are walking through this country at night and you came upon this big bull, there'd be big problems. They're just so aggressive and so unpredictable. The three-ton hippo is furious at me. I am sitting on the front of our truck and we are parked at the water's edge. His ritualised postures are being directed at me. He is willing to fight. Look at that! It came out of the water like a, almost breaching like a whale for God's sake. I'm concerned this enraged hippo may explode into a snapping charge and take me in a single bite. How is that? That is the rudest creature, isn't it? He stuck his bum out of the water, facing us, defecating and flicking it everywhere with his tail. Just total disrespect. Certainly got the message though. <laughs> now every week we will publish a new Wildlife Man podcast. I've spent most of my life working with a huge diversity of animals from the animal kingdom. So if you enjoy, please subscribe. Please share, like, and ring that notification button so you never miss a new story being published. And remember, all my films are available streaming on demand from Vimeo. So that's it from me till next week. I am your wildlife man.